Hello everybody, it's me Jim Zone Jay here. How do you define what big cities are? Do you define the size of a city by its population or the area it takes up? These are the two most common ways that people use to define the size of a city, but I think what really makes a city feel big is how dense it is. Cities like New York, London, and Tokyo feel big because they are very densely populated. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 most densely populated cities in the United States. Be sure to let me know after seeing the list if you're surprised by any of the results. Anyway, without further ado, let's go! Number 10, Providence, Rhode Island. This might be a surprise for some people given that this city has a pretty small population and that it's in the smallest state in the country, but Rhode Island is actually the second most densely populated state in the country behind only New Jersey, so there are a lot of people packed into this tiny state and in the capital city of Providence. Providence has a population of 190,934 people, which are packed into just 18.4 square miles, giving the city a population density of 9,740 people per square mile. Number 9, Alexandria, Virginia. Only about 365 miles away from Providence and we arrive at our next city. In fact, the Northeast region is the most densely populated area in the country, so a lot of Northeastern cities will be on the list. Alexandria, Virginia is located just a few miles outside of Washington, D.C., and is a very good area statistically to live in. It's got great jobs, good schools, and easy access to the nation's capital, though it also is pretty expensive to live here thanks to a median home value of around $700,000. Alexandria has a population of 159,467 people, which are packed into just 15 square miles, giving the city a population density of 10,387 people per square mile. Number 8, Washington, D.C. Speaking of the nation's capital, it also makes the list as well. Washington, D.C. has definitely seen quite a bit of attention this past year, between the Capitol riot in January, a bomb threat near the Library of Congress, as well as many other things. When these things are not happening, though, Washington, D.C. is actually a very nice place to visit, especially during cherry blossom season. The city is very walkable, and there is plenty to do. From afar, it may not look as big as many cities in the country due to the lack of skyscrapers, but it definitely feels like a big and dense city when walking around downtown. Washington, D.C. has a population of 689,545 people, which are packed into 61.1 square miles, giving the city a population density of around 11,148 people per square mile. Number 7, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And yet again, another northeastern city, Philadelphia also actually used to be the nation's capital for a short period of time, and has seen many historical events take place here, including the signing of the Declaration of Independence, the Continental Congress, and much more. Philadelphia is a great city to visit to see some important history for the founding of this great country. Philadelphia has a population of 1,603,797 people, which are packed into 134.2 square miles, giving the city a population density of around 11,683 people per square mile. Number 6, Newark, New Jersey. Located basically next door to New York City, Newark, New Jersey is also a very densely populated area that is heavily influenced by New York City due to their proximity to each other. Newark is also a place where a lot of people go that get priced out from New York City while still wanting to be close to all the action. Newark has a population of 311,549 people, which are packed in at 24.1 square miles, giving the city a population density of 11,691 people per square mile. Number 5, Chicago, Illinois. This one isn't really a surprise, but I was expecting it to be higher on the list since Chicago, at least to me, feels bigger than every city in the country aside from New York City. Chicago was the birthplace of the skyscraper and today remains an important transportation hub in the United States due to its central location in the Midwest. Chicago has a population of 2,746,388 people, which are packed in the 227.3 square miles, giving the city a population density of around 11,900 people per square mile. Number 4, Miami, Florida. Okay, this one caught me completely off guard. When I've been to Miami, it felt like just the typical sprawling suburb with very little density that most Sunbelt cities are like, and it did not feel like a dense city whatsoever. The reason why it appears pretty dense statistically is because unlike a lot of Sunbelt cities, Miami city limits are abysmally small for a metropolitan area of this size. Miami is also one of the fastest growing regions in the country due to its warm weather and great beaches. 
but I don't think this will last long since Miami is by far the most vulnerable US city to climate change and could go mostly underwater by 2100 due to rising sea levels. Miami has a population of 442,241 people, which are packed into just 36 square miles, giving the city a population density of 12,599 people per square mile. Number 3. Boston, Massachusetts While Philadelphia might have the spotlight as the most historic city in the country, Boston is easily a close second. This area, after all, is where the first British colonists arrived in the modern-day U.S., and it's had its fair share of historical events, such as the Boston Tea Party, the Siege of Boston, and much more. Also, maybe it's just me, but when I visited Boston, it felt like the most European U.S. city to me, probably due to its street network and architectural style. Boston has a population of 675,647 people, which are packed into 48.3 square miles, giving the city a population density of around 13,938 people per square mile. Number 2. San Francisco, California And here is our first and only West Coast city on the list. Despite being built on very hilly geography, San Francisco is actually a very dense city. It is of course known for the Golden Gate Bridge and nearby Silicon Valley, but it also is the most expensive city to live in the US, with a median home value of $1.5 million. So yeah, unless you have a good paying job for one of the big tech companies in the area, it's very hard to live a comfortable life here, which has caused a major homeless problem for the city. San Francisco though is a beautiful city with great weather and great nature nearby, so if you can afford to live here, it's a great place to live. San Francisco has a population of 873,965 people, which are packed into 46.9 square miles, giving the city a population density of around 18,569 people per square mile. And number one, New York City, New York. To the surprise of literally nobody, New York City takes the top spot on the list, and it's not even close. New York City is the largest city in the country and one of the most visited cities in the entire world. It's also the type of place where you either love it for the energy and world-class amenities it has to offer, or you hate it because of how crowded and dirty it can get. New York City has a population of 8,804,190 people, which are packed into 301.5 square miles, giving the city a population density of around 28,317 people per square mile. So there you have it, the top 10 most densely populated cities in the US. Be sure to let me know what you think of the list. Were you surprised by any of the results? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know what your favorite city in the US is. I personally really like Chicago for its world-class architecture, beautiful lakefront, and its great balance between big city but also clean and not too dense. Thanks a lot for watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.